Hey, YouTubers. Uh, I've basically been working away at trying to figure out how to get performance mode in Fruity Loops to work with my Code 49. It, uh, you know, it's not the best thing for trying to do performance mode in Fruity Loops, but that being said, it can be done, and I have figured out how. I was unfamiliar with performance mode, and on top of that, I, it, because, you know, I, I, I figured now that I had a pad system here, that would be a good chance to try out the performance mode, and I'm like, all right, so performance mode can read my controller, but it's just not anywhere near set up to how I would like it to be. So what you want to do is open your Code 49 preset editor. If you don't have this, get it off their website. Super easy. Um, you're going to... I have a preset. Um, I have a preset here that helps me out as far as uh, let's see ba -ba 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 -bum, ba -ba -bum, we want. so here we have my performance mode set up so what's really going to happen when you open it in fruity loops is that um you know it's going to read it, it's going to want to read it like a keyboard so i set these up like a keyboard but I set it up the way that it wants to it wants to read it. So basically, I just started with the first one is going to be your C negative one note zero. Um, that was a point of contention for me because I originally started this at zero C zero, which was note twelve for my keyboard, and ultimately you'll have better luck with the uh, just going with zero. Uh, you don't have to trust me, but there is something that you have to do later if you're gonna do that. So, I went with channel one just out of simplicity because uh, I was trying to get my, at first I got my typing keyboard to work, then I got the keyboard on the Cone 49 to work, then I wanted the pads to work. So I just set the pads up like a keyboard. And that way, if they're all on channel one, as you can see, I actually color coded them too. You don't have to do that. That's just a thing of mine. I have to have them color coded. But um, we've got. You can you can see that basically if this keyboard continued on for twelve for eleven more for eleven notes, then I would have a whole top row. So if you have like a normal controller made for doing this, it's going to have all of those, you know, tw uh, it's going to have 12 pads so that you can run from 0 to 11. But um, because you only have these four pads, that's the drawback. That's, that's what gets you on this one. So basically you can have the first four notes of every register... You can also do this like on your keyboard and have like much more, uh, much more options. But you don't necessarily have the pad. I mean, the pads is that's you know we wanted we wanted the code forty nine because it had the pads, right? Agreed. So it, it's it, so basically just set up. Go every twelve you're going to set up another four notes. So it's going to read like one, two, three, four. And then your next row is going to be one, two, three, four. But it's on your pads. You don't have to do anything with the keyboard. So basically, once you've done that, gotten that all set up, I mean, super easy. Just pause it right now, get all of these numbers, Make it match up. Remember to change your channel. You're going to have to change your channel on everyone. And uh, make sure latch is off. I had latch on. I might be able to figure out a way to make that work. But for now, I just want latch off. And uh, once you're done with that, we can move on to FL Studio. All right. Just got the new FL20. Uh, can't say anything bad about it at this point because they brought back old stuff. They've got new stuff. Really is the best. 
if you haven't if if you're still on one of the lower versions just ante up because it's it, it really is the best and you know if you're a fruity loop person i uh, like fl studios you know it's just one of many but you know i if if you're gonna do fl studios at this point just you buckle down and do 20 because it is much better than the previous version and so we've got i've got this set up already it's a performance mode so I just took a normal song, like I took a song I was working on, and it was for it was kind of set up for a live performance style. So it was just a bunch of clips and everything. Actually, here's here's what I was working on, and so it'll come up like this on your screen, and then once you um, go up to options, and then I'm sorry, tools, macros and prepare for performance mode. Once you click that, it's gonna come up with this. Just say okay, save your project or whatever. Say okay, and I'm gonna say cancel because I've already done it and I don't want it to set it back up like it was. It's gonna set you up with 16 pads up here. I deleted all but the first four. So once you have the first four, you can position those however you like. You've got your pads here. I just drew those pads from over here. I took them out of my song, put them over here. And then, you know, I guess the point is, is that, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, basically you can have a song structure here and then you can, you know, noodle away with little song clips and stuff like that and, you know, build breaks and all kinds of options over here on your performance side. So basically the way it works is I'm not going to play the song because I just want to show how this is working. I'm going to start on this, which is just going to... Whoa! Sorry, folks. Um, so let me turn those off. So as you can see now, my pads... Beep, boop, beep, boop. Don't do anything, of course, because I'm recording. What's going on here? It's probably because it's not playing. How horrible was that? So, I should not have subjected you to that. Hopefully I can edit that out. Because this is going well so far. I like this. Uh, I'm talking to my Code49 people that have watched my other videos. I'm surprised by the numbers, honestly. So, um, you know, keep it up. I love it. I love it. So, you can position these pads. I have one, uh, I just have a drum track on the left channel, drum track on the right channel, drum track, a different drum track on the left channel, different drum track on the right channel. Some weird little banging sound and then little synth line here. And basically now that it's playing, it's just going to loop between this. So it's not going to make those loud noises anymore. And then basically at this point, you can toggle on and off different things. So obviously you can see pad one corresponding to pad one. And you change, if you right click on the channel here, the track, you can change the way it behaves so you can make it march across by itself you can make it one shot do whatever you want i'm just latching these so as it plays on the as it plays on the playlist we have as it plays on the playlist i can just toggle them on and off by simply So 
so the weird thing is is that when you go to pad two you can't leave pad one on so this row is independent of this row independent of this row independent of that row which is kind of weird i would think that you'd have the ability to just kind of bounce around but i mean leave in the comments if you know how to like you know utilize this because i'm just figuring it out but i wanted you guys to really quickly be able to see how to set it up so that you can just get to jamming rather than you know trying to trying to figure all this nonsense out by the way you have the pad octave up and down button if you if you are having trouble where it seems that some are working see if it's misaligned because as you press the pad octave button it's basically like shifting this up and down so as you you know it basically it, that that happened to me and when it, like i said when i started put the put the uh channel note i put the note at zero I, i'm sorry 12 to start because it was c c0 and it actually wanted the zero note so i brought it down to you know negative 12 c or whatever so that is basically the gist of it so you know now you can start experimenting along with me because i just figured this out too uh you know have a good time with it it was an enjoyable experience making another video for you peace